As I wake up this morning, I have found that I've been doing that for the past couple of months, just thinking really deep thoughts of gratitude. But on this particular morning, I'm thinking if I could speak to my younger self and if I could tell her, hey, you're going to be living on your own in your 20s and you're going to have the best cat in the world, but you're going to be very happy and you're going to really enjoy being alone. I don't think I could believe that. I don't think I would. I've always had a fear of rejection, a fear of being alone. It really amazes me though how much peace I've felt. I don't think I've ever felt this much peace before in my life. I find so much comfort in silence and in my own presence. And that's what today's video is going to highlight, just living alone in your 20s. Maybe you find yourself in this situation yourself, or maybe you're coming to that age where you're thinking of moving out and you might be scared. At first, I was myself. I was very, very scared. I thought I would not be able to sleep at night, and the first night I wasn't. I was very much out of my comfort zone, but over time, I have just found it so peaceful and has allowed me to do so much inner work within myself i have been able to really just have that one-on-one -on -one time with god anytime i want you know i can just sing out loud when i want i can laugh out loud when i want i just have this whole space of just creativity and freedom and it's my safe place I got ready for the day because today we are actually gonna go out. The past couple of vlogs, we've just been home and today is my day off and we finally get to go out. I wanna go paint some pottery. I really wanna get pho and I also kinda wanna go shopping. So that's gonna be the plan, but this is my outfit for the day, my hair. I went ahead and strained it. It's currently 11.48 and yeah, we gotta go because it's almost lunchtime and I'm getting kind of hungry. So I actually ended up doing an outfit change. Instead, now I have this white top and this really cute jacket. I always get so nervous to think of vlogging in there, but I'm trying to get rid of my anxiety because if this was my full-time job, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my headphones with me. I like listening to music while painting. I think we hear it all the time how crucial our 20s are you know it's a time for us to develop and self-discover and yes that is very true but i don't think we should take it as serious or at least balance it maybe you know you should take it serious right because it's your life and we all serve a purpose here don't be so hard on yourself i think your 20s is a time for you to really find those hobbies what do you like to do and finding that purpose doesn't always have to be something huge like a huge purpose like you know changing the world maybe you're changing the world by simply being yourself and doing your day-to-day -day work like that is how simple it can be sometimes we always seem to overcomplicate our lives back in my car now that was so fun i usually go to a different location but it's kind of really far from me but this one is way closer and it was actually kind of better and she was so nice so glad it's raining because it's giving pho okay if you watched my last video i love pho you know, they've said it before and they continue saying it, how we are our worst critics. And I'm just here to remind you, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. We're all here experiencing life for the first time and it's not easy. It is not easy. It's hard and it gets lonely, but we're doing the best we can and that is the best we can do, right? This is actually my first time ever going out and sitting in an actual restaurant by myself. I always told myself if I was going to go eat at a restaurant, like it's with someone, right? Never alone because that can be very intimidating. Like, you know, I'd rather just get fast 
food and call it a day but this was my first time i went to go eat some fall it's my favorite kind of food when it's raining so this was perfect and it really just helped me take one little step of uh, being out of my comfort zone and i really think you guys should try this if that's something you struggle with I really think it's important for us to like take what we struggle with and like face it and put those fears aside is something that has really been highlighted for me if i really sit here and think about how if i let my fears control me i would not be filming this video i would not be here like you would not be watching me I'm back home now. I am honestly super exhausted. My social battery is drained. I just want to take a nap. It's already about to be five. I've been out for a good minute. So you guys know I am a big, big hobby girl. I love having hobbies. It really just helps my time just go by faster. It helps me entertain myself. And as of lately, I have really picked up the piano. I actually thrifted this for $7. I have a lot of people that tell me, you have so many hobbies, you're so talented, but you know what? You don't have to be good at something to make it a hobby. The point of a hobby is learning and practicing and having a pastime. And I'm not perfect, but that's the beauty of it. You just try and try and it really helps with your mental health. It helps you de-stress. Like I really highly recommend finding a hobby. I've got like the first five seconds of the song down. Today was such a good day. I'm so glad I found this new place. I really enjoyed my time there. And I was also talking to the worker. I asked her when I walked in, like, is it okay if I record myself? I think it's better for me to ask than to just pull out a whole camera and like film. She was really sweet about it. She was like, I totally understand. I'm really proud of myself because usually I get really, really bad anxiety when I'm in public alone and like having to record. I just told myself, don't be afraid. Like you're gonna see these people and like probably never see them again. Just be a mysterious, cool girl okay there was one girl that was looking at me but if anything i felt like she was admiring me in a way so you know what it's a win-win i just posted on the spam if you don't know what's going on you are not following me on instagram i have my main instagram everything's gonna be linked down below but i have my main but then i also have a spam exclusive for only subscribers i'll be posting way more content on there like way more personal stuff like throughout the day right now i'm gonna start cooking dinner As we get closer to the end of today's video, I would like to just thank you if you made it this far. I hope if you were filled with any kind of worry with moving out, that this video brought you the ease and the comfort that you deserve, knowing that you are making the right choice. And it is scary getting out of your comfort zone, but you got this. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video.